<clears throat> well, okay guys, I uh been home from work for a little while now. It's 529. You can tell by the grease. I got uh, a bunch of helpers here. Juke. Tiger and the brown cat over here is brownie. My twister is also around, but anywho, for any of you guys that follow me on Facebook, you know what I'm up to, but for those of you who don't, the ignition module came in for the 2082 mm, last week, maybe? This week? Anyways, the uh, the secretary out front uh, didn't tell me about it when it came in, so it's not like I'm hard to find or anything. I only see her like 400 times a day, but anyways, here's the new one. Don't fall. And here's the old one. They look almost identical. So, anyways, I'm gonna slap this baby on. I got uh, a wrench holding that cover out so I can get into it. And uh, yeah, once I get it back together, I'm gonna try and fire this bitch up and drive this freaking thing out of here. Maybe it'll stay running long enough I can mess around on the gravel pile some. Oh. -ho! Anyway, anyways, guys. Huh, why is this counting down so slow? This is kind of weird. Anyways, it's the end of the first day uh, working on the 2082. Well, I spun it over once or twice and got a few sparks out of it, but then no spark. I have the uh, battery charger on the battery for it. And tomorrow's another day. It's pretty dark now. It's about 7 o'clock. So. Working by one little light I have on here. So anyways. That's it for tonight. If I can get the damn light to shut off. There we go. Okay guys, so. It's now... Saturday, 310 there, hopefully you can see. There you go. So at any rate, uh, can't get back on this stupid thing. But, oh, the Cub Cadet's going to have a replacement. Well, yeah, me and my dad just got back from the dealer I work at. Uh, <clears throat> put an application in for uh, me to uh, put in a loan on a new uh, Cub Cadet Yanmar with a loader and a backhoe. So... Yeah, but I am going to get this thing back up and running, um, at least to mow for a while until we buy a mower deck for any other tractor. As you can see, I was testing for spark the other day. Uh, still no spark, but I didn't gap the uh, ignition module to the flywheel yet. I don't remember if I told you guys. So you guys can see the ignition module right there. And the flywheel is up above it, like. So, I'm going to find a feeler gauge and gap it and... If I get it running, I'll uh, tell you guys about it. If not, who will? Well, also at work, I got a chance to drive a uh, 20G for any of you Gravely guys. You'll know what that is. It's kind of cool. I liked it, too. So, all right. Enough chit-chat. Time to get back to work. All right, guys. We're going to try and fire up the 2082 here. I just gapped the ignition module for the flywheel. Uh, I stuck the plugs on it, and we're going to try cranking them up. It's on life support right now, too. So I need jumper cables. Let's see what we can get. Oh, here we go.
All right. Well, the battery's dead, guys, so uh, we're going to have to wait till take two. Okay, guys, I got it hooked up to the Bronco now, so we're going to give her another shot and see if she starts. I think it's just dead battery. <laughs> Alright, uh, I gotta just figure out where all that stuff goes again and uh, we're ready for a test drive, baby. Yahoo! Lock and load, let's rock and roll. <clears throat> well guys, sometimes there comes a time when you uh, complete a project, you're able to come over to it and just twist the key. Like butter. Let's roll. Great too, I might add. Running super smooth. It hasn't ran like that in, I want to say, 10 years. So, it's all put back together. Remote oil filter. I got the wiring back together so it's working right. I assume it had oil. I don't know. What do I care? Dad's getting a new tractor. So. So anyways, this tractor will handle uh, mowing duty until we get a uh, 
until we uh, want to spend 1500 bucks for a mower deck to run that Myanmar we're getting. Uh, that's how much the deck costs. I'm not going to tell you how much the tractor costs, but anyways, you guys will see it when it gets here and I'll compare the two. So until then, guys, uh, make sure you don't leave your Bronco and gear while it's running. It uh, might try and kill you. So, goes for Cup Cadets too. So, see you later, guys. Thanks for watching.